After three years of denial, Sean Pernice has finally admitted to killing his wife, Renee. Renee was last seen January 1st, 2009. Nearby searches turned up nothing except Renee's cell phone. Sean's murder trial was set to begin next week, but yesterday, prosecutors said they struck a deal with Pernice. He pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter. Pernice said he got mad at Renee and hit her in the face. She fell down some stairs, and that's what caused her to die. Pernice's attorney says they reached a deal within the last few days. Prosecutors believe Renee's body was dumped in the trash, and they don't believe they'll ever find her body. Pernice will be sentenced May 11th. He faces 5 to 15 years in prison. One man is not surprised at all. He says three years ago he saw Sean Pernice at a dumpster near his home and was ready to testify. Lindsay Shively is following this story. She is live in our studio now with more. Lindsay. Good morning. Prosecutors are ready to fly Floyd Williams back to Kansas City to testify in the upcoming murder trial against Sean Pernice that was supposed to happen next week. In January 2009, Williams says he lived near St. John Avenue and Benton Boulevard. Across the street sits a wooded area and large park where somewhere Renee Pernice's cell phone was found days after she disappeared. Look at this. This is a picture from Google Street View from 2009 of Williams' apartment complex. Williams says about 99% of the time he and his girlfriend saw Hispanic people dumping in the dumpster in their complex. And in between those two buildings, you can see there is a dumpster. Then in January 2009, Williams says his girlfriend yelled that a white man driving a GMC truck was turning and walking away from the dumpster. He didn't have enough time to get his license plate number, but then he saw Sean Pernice's picture on TV a week later. We both looked at him on TV and we both, me and my girlfriend just said that was him at our dumpster and we were like, I, I said we have to call the police and that's immediately what we did. We called the police right then and it, it, I, we knew it was him. Police did come. They did talk to Floyd Williams and they did try to check that dumpster, but it had already been emptied by the time they got there. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News Today. Now, during this time three years ago, a Northland neighborhood became the center of the police investigation. The focus, of course, was the Pernice home. Neighbors say they were on edge at the time, wondering where Renee was and if her husband, Sean, could be responsible for her disappearance. Now they tell us they're not surprised Sean pleaded guilty. In fact, they often refer to him as psycho. I always knew he did because Renee was such a good person and I knew how it, what he was. Now, new people have since moved into the Pernice home. We've been following this story for some time. So for more on the Sean Pernice plea deal, also the years of investigation, head to our website, KSHB.com.